really has a passion for the past, it's landed him with a paddock full of treasures and a shed full of stuff. But I'm keen to learn more about his own heritage, as intriguing as anything in his collection of curios. Ah, in here. Hello, Stu. In here, mate. Ah, Willie. Hello. How are you going? I'm very well. Good to see very you. Very nice to see you too. Wow, welcome. is this your shed? Yeah, welcome to the uh, chaos in here. Wow, this is a shed. Yeah, a lot, lots of recycling. Most of it second hand, of course. Right. Look at these wonderful trusses. Yeah, look, they're, they're beauties, and I have an idea that they might have been 19th century railway building or something. Well, they've got a sort of late 19th century anxiety about them, haven't they? <laughs> they, really, they really create this big span for all this stuff in here. So is this your prime place for making? Really? Yes, it is, and it goes through many evolutions. I do definitely have an ethos of reusing. Sometimes that's a bit of a blight because you find it hard to get rid of anything because you, you need to find a use for it. Yeah, there's and a lot of stuff I see lying around. Use. Yes, and actually a lot of the Joe Adger house is in here. There's still some of the original furniture out of it, like this radio here. Yeah, great. John Novell. Willie developed his passion for building and reconstructing simple houses at the feet of his father, who ironically guided the construction of our most famous and complex house. What a marvellous public debate the Opera House has given us. You know, everyone has an opinion now. Everyone's an expert about whether the place is beautiful or ugly or functional or a white elephant or whatever. Peter Hall picked up where Opera House architect Jorn Utzon left off. Are you staying again? When Utzon, fed up with political interference, resigned and returned to his native Denmark, it fell to Willie's dad to complete what was a complicated and controversial project. I was appalled. You know, I, I, I didn't think anyone should replace Utzon as architect. It was a thankless task, but he saw it through. Only in 2006, well after his death, was Peter Hall recognised for his immense contribution to bringing one of the world's most magnificent buildings to completion. So by the time you were both working, was your dad giving you design advice when you were building? Um, we, we spent a lot of time talking about buildings. He was absolutely an aesthete. We talked a lot about design, particularly ugliness. <laughs> that was a favourite topic. <laughs> But it's quite hard to pinpoint any one thing that said, ah, oh, I got that thing in my mind that I like that aesthetic mm. from that exposure. Well, it's about an approach more than an aesthetic sometimes. I suppose it, it is, yeah. And it's about honesty, integrity, that word. Yes. So. Authenticity. <laughs> yeah, that other word. <laughs>